Hey guys, Robbie Richards here. In this first video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build high converting landing pages in minutes using a tool called Thrive Content Builder. For those of you unfamiliar with Thrive Content Builder, uh, it is a WordPress plugin that uh, you simply upload into your WordPress website and it allows you to build highly optimized landing pages and test uh, any page element you could possibly imagine uh, in literally minutes. Uh, we're on the website here, but I'm not going to read through everything here for you. I'll include a link to uh, this tool below the video. But basically, it is a simple click to edit, drag and drop tool that you can use to quickly build any type of page element or any type of page you could possibly think of um, really, really quickly. And you know, loads and loads of features, uh, fully responsive. And if you don't have a lot of creative flair like myself, you can actually use uh, choose from a bunch of different um, tested and optimized landing page templates that they have available. Everything from video sales pages to um, eBooks, everything that you can possibly imagine. Um, you know, they offer those pre-built templates for you to use. And this is really, really helpful because um, you know a lot of people who want to do A/B testing uh, usually it's very expensive because you need to invest in you know, a tool like Visual, Visual Website Optimizer that you know, goes for around $49 a month for 10,000 visitors, um, or a landing page builder like Unbounce, which is a good tool, but it also gets really pricey as, you know, as your site grows, you're looking at $100 plus a month just to build landing pages. And the really great thing about Thrive is it's only $59 one-time fee. I'm using it for all of my landing pages on all of my personal sites and even client projects now. Um, and recently I've used it, uh, over the last month I've actually, I've been able to double the opt-in rate on some of my uh, ebook landing pages, as well as uh, five times the return on one of my client's PPC campaigns by just being able to quickly build and deploy A-B test variants of landing page and uh, you know continually optimize and scale sales and opt-in rates. So enough of that so let's jump over to my site here I want to show you just a couple quick examples if we look on um, this is my ebook landing page as you can see very very clean um, I did that on purpose and it is actually converting at around four to five percent now which is which is pretty good and this is just a pre-built um, template that I literally dragged and dropped my content uh, into and uh, it took me a few minutes to build so very simple um, another one here, you'll probably notice this, uh, it's a video landing page that you're uh, watching these videos on now. But once again, a template that I was able to just duplicate some elements and quickly build a very clean, professional looking landing page um, to show my video tutorial on. And then I just actually the other weekend launched a tools page on my site that just lists some of the tools that I use on personal client projects and you know, basic but very clean, void of any you know distraction sidebars or anything, and the temp the layout is super clean. Normally, you would have to use floating and do a little bit of custom coding to generate some of these layouts, but I was able to do it with Thrive in minutes. So you can see that that's some of the you know very clean and simple layouts that you can build with this tool. Uh, but let me just show you an example of what it looks like when you're actually using the editor. So going back to the uh, the content promotion ebook landing page. If we wanted to say test some elements on that in our A-B test, we would simply come in once we have the plugin uh, installed on our website, we would see an option here to edit with Thrive Content and we would just click that link and it will take me into the landing page builder and you will see uh, over here on the right hand side, actually just let me remove these social icons very quickly. Okay, sorry about that, I was just, I'm running a test right now with my social icons. So you can see on the right hand side here that uh, we have all of these different elements that we can add and edit on our uh, landing pages. And you can also choose from a bunch of different pre-built landing page templates here. I actually used one for this page, as I mentioned earlier. But as you scroll through, you've got all the basic ones like page, paragraph, text elements, images. But as you scroll down, you'll start to see like you can add buttons, you can add credit card icons is good for, you know if you want to add that into your checkout process um, on an e-commerce store you can add star ratings if you're doing a, um, a review of a tool or something on your website uh, 
you can do layout so if say you want to create like a two column layout or quarter you know into fourths or a ton of different options here you literally just drag and drop them into the container on the page and then here you go you've got two columns to drop your content into um, uh, that's just a one example but you know you've got content boxes you can do click to share for you know if you want to share on Twitter um, you know, testimonial boxes here so let's just pretend that um, you know we have a version of this landing page and we want to see if adding an actual testimonial at the bottom helps uh, increase opt-in rates by adding a little social proof so we would just click here and choose from the nine different styles that they offer uh, I'll just take the first one once again we just grab the container that we want to drop it into so I'll drop it here and it's actually a little bit of overlap there I dropped it in the wrong one so we'll drop it in here into the container and then here we go we can see we've got a very professional looking testimonial box that we can click on the element and update using a very similar WYSIWYG type editor that uh, you use in the normal WordPress layout um, and there's a bunch of different styles you can choose from um, another option is say you want to add a pricing table to your website um, or a landing page you can quickly drag and drop that in uh, it'll give you a bunch of different options give you a cart it there um, you know a click to add to cart which you can edit these buttons super fast and easily uh, let's have a look here you know we've got two column three column four column let's say we've got four different pricing tiers that we want to add in here they go and once again you can edit the coloring and all those different things there super fast um, every, you can add responsive video containers, Google Maps, um, feature grids, lead generation forms. Uh, one really cool feature that I like is the countdown timer that you can, uh, you can add in here. So, you know, we just drop it in here and then we can configure it to start counting down. Um, and then, yeah, so that's a, that's a lot of the different ones. Uh, let's have a look at some more. Um, let's see. Let's say we want to test um, on our e-commerce side if adding a guarantee box will help increase sales. They have that option in there as well. So we can just drag one of these in here and drop it in and then bang, you have a very, very professional, clean looking um, guarantee box that you know, could help, uh, you know, help people convert and increase your, your conversion rates on your site. So as you can see, you can quickly add, edit, test uh, or uh, yeah, remove different elements on the page very, very quickly, super simple. Once you're done, just click save and those changes will be live on your page. So I'm just going to head back now into the editor. So I wanted to just go through a very quick um, example of something that I could test on my own blog. And uh, I have a post um, on my site that I did to, um, it was a case study on how to recover from Google. Uh, Google and manual algorithmic uh, penalties. One of the things that I wanted to test is, um, and I'm an affiliate for some of the products in this post, mind you, and I wanted to test if placing an affiliate link at the top of the post would get me more exposure and additional sales. So if we come over to my posts here, um, and you can find different pages on your website too that, uh, if, you know, ones that get lots of traffic, you might want to drop in some affiliate links in there or test the placement of them. You can do that by going to the behavior or pages report in Google Analytics and finding some of your higher traffic posts in there. Um, so here is the uh, case study that I was talking about. I'll just show you what that looks like very quickly. And here we go. So it is a post on how to identify and recover from Google's manual and algorithmic penalties. And I go through and I list some of the tools that I uh, use to perform link analysis. One of those tools is Ahrefs, which I'm an affiliate for. Great tool. Um, and I want to see if maybe placing a link at the top here will get me more exposure and additional affiliate sales for, um, for that particular product. So what I do is I'll come back over to the posts here. And in order to run an A-B test, we're going to need to clone this page and then edit it using Thrive Content. And one way to um, ed uh, clone this page is to install a free WordPress plugin called Post Duplicator. It's, it's free, so just go over, download. Once it's uploaded into your WordPress site, you'll see a link that looks like this to duplicate the post. So we'll just click that link. And then you'll see here that it has duplicated that post. There are no comments, which is good. Um, so I've just got a fresh uh, cloned version of that content. 
Now I will just simply hit edit with Thrive Content Builder. And then it'll bring me in and I'll see the elements again. Um, just to keep very things very basic, I'm just gonna drag in this uh, element here. And then, you know, I'll just say something simple, like if you're in a hurry, um, check out my number one link analysis tool that I've used to pull a bunch of websites back into good standing with Google um, that I've used to analyze link profiles and pull a bunch of client websites back into good standing with Google. Um, feel free to click the link and learn more about all its powerful features. And then that's it. What I would do then is I would, uh, my number one link analysis tool, you know, and then I would just simply click the link button, add my link, open a new window and no follow if I want to do that. And then, you know, that's a very basic example of what I could do. Obviously, you know, you can test any element of these pages, whether you're on e-commerce store, ebook landing page, anything. Um, and you can test different elements available here in Thrive, just drag and drop. So for this example, I'm just gonna click, uh, I'm just gonna click save on my test variant. So that is saved. Now I'll just click back and then uh, the next thing that I will actually want to do is I'll want to click into the post and just make sure that I have a 2 on the end of the URL here. That'll help me differentiate when we set up our experiment in Google Analytics and then remove the copy from the title. And then I'll just click update. And now I have two variations of my landing page. Um, I was able to edit the, the cloned version. Um, I'm able to add or edit any element on that page in seconds by dragging and dropping using the Thrive Content Builder. Now I've got those both uh, saved, they're live. Um, and in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that your A-B test variants aren't going to get flagged by Google for a duplicate content penalty. So that was super easy, very fast, no code required. Uh, great tool. I'll see you in the next video.